Fungiasis, classified as a neglected disease, is closely linked to impoverished living conditions and low socioeconomic status, as evidenced by the geographic distribution of the reviewed studies. These studies primarily focus on regions in South America and Africa, where sanitation challenges and economic hardships prevail. Despite including a modest number of studies, comprehensive search strategy highlighted a stark neglect of tungiasis compared to diseases like leishmaniasis and leprosy. The limited research availability reflects the disease's underreporting and the inadequacy of investments directed toward its control. The association between T penetrans proliferation, the causative agent, and unsanitary environments in tropical climates stands out as a significant risk factor for the disease. The neglect of environmental control in clinical trials poses a challenge. Several trials, despite recognizing this crucial aspect, struggled to isolate participants from the infection source, impacting the evaluation of treatment efficacy. Existing trials didn't directly compare different treatment approaches, such as oral versus topical medications or drug versus mechanical extraction. Oral drugs like naridazole and ivermectin presented limitations, including gastrointestinal effects and reported inefficacy, respectively. However, the ease of administration of oral antiparasitic drugs in addition to environmental control could prove advantageous, especially in remote communities, although data confirming this combined intervention success remain lacking. Topical drugs emerged as the most successful treatments in systematic review, showcasing an occlusive effect on parasites. While these drugs demonstrated positive outcomes, determining whether these results stem from the active ingredients or the occlusive properties of the treatments remained challenging. Dimeticodes, a group of silicon oils, notably showed promise in trials, particularly the manufactured drug NIDA, with encouraging efficacy and minimal adverse effects reported. Despite the relatively limited number of studies, the evidence supports the use of occlusive agents, especially dimeticone-based products, in treating tungiasis. Endemic countries should prioritize regulatory approval of these products to ensure proper treatment and prevent complications. Future research and investments should not only focus on treatments but also emphasize environmental interventions to eliminate T. penetrans as a source of infection, essential for comprehensive tungiasis control. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and activate the notification bell if you wish to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.